Okay, hopefully we are live now. Looks like we are. I'm just going to share this out. I'll be right back with you. So uh, for those that are just joining, skip forward to about 30 seconds or 45 seconds and we'll get started. <clears throat> All right, I think we're back. So uh, Herman Lutman, which I believe is a correct uh, way to pronounce his name, is a uh, Somewhat of a prolific designer, and I call him a new designer because he's new to me. He may well have been around for quite a while. Uh, best known for some of his American Civil War titles and some of his Napoleonic uh, titles that he's done. And he certainly is taking a fresh look at how game systems work and how mechanics come together for you know, various historical periods. However... This, as you can probably gather, uh, if you've not heard of it before, Dead Reckoning, is a post-apocalyptic look at the, you know, what might be going on in the world. Uh, interesting little game. It's from uh, Tiny Battles. Let's move the, the stuff out of the bag. And I thought we'd have a quick look at the game and just check it out and see what it's like. I forget how much this is. I think it's in the 20 to $30 range comes in a Ziploc baggie that you can see. And I've got one little loose guy there. Come here, buddy. Okay, now we can see. So, <clears throat> Dead Reckoning, set in Colorado, no less. The, the, the home to the pot crazy stoners of the world, those who love a little ganj before they play. And, uh, you know, something gets into the water system and next thing you know, we got zombies. And that's the, that's the basic premise. And then, uh, of course, the hordes are moving in some direction towards Denny Springs. And it's uh, all about how the National Guard and the various heroes in the game can assist the masses to uh, escape to safety. So that's the, that's the theme of the game. Uh, rules uh, are laid out really well. There's uh, quite a few amusing anecdotes in here and some backstory to kind of get you into the mood of the game. It's a two-player game. One guy takes on the role of the zombie hordes. I know a few dumbass war gamers that could probably take that on and not even have to read the rules. Boom, boom. Uh, so uh, there is that. <laughs> it's a pretty straightforward game system. You have uh, combat cards. Uh, combat cards for the uh, humans and combat cards for the zombies. And depending on the type of combat, you're looking at two or three cats just walked in the door. So anything could happen. Uh, you uh, roll. In fact, they're, they're, uh, they're chaos cards. They're special. So let's find uh, ones that are not. Uh, these are... I haven't played yet, but I have had a quick squeeze of the rules. I haven't read all of them in detail. But uh, you have the zombie combat and uh, you, you regular uh, non-zombie types uh, combat. And you look at the, you match up the uh, capabilities here, fire combat, close combat, and uh, stuff like that. And then uh, you, you net out the difference and that's going to uh, impact the losses that each side will take, depending on the weapon type and the type of combat and the size of the unit and sort of fun, fun things like that. The rules are really well laid out, very clear, point by point, kind of gives you a summary of how things work, and then it del delves into the detail. And this is only, I think, eight pages or nine pages, 12 pages long. There's a, a chaos table in here. Um, what do we got here? Oh, there's victory conditions uh, in the back there. An explanation of the chaos results. It's a really straightforward game, so uh, pretty Pretty interesting looking game, and uh, I think it's going to be a fast player. Now, it does come with these player aid cards, and I think based on my reading of the rules, you can get away with just using these two cards. As the human player, you've got your sequence of play here, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, you know what to do with the refugees, how many can you move, how far can you move, that's all going to be based off of these initiative cards that you play. Uh, when it's your activation, you play uh, you, you play an initiative card, and then that's gonna de determine how many moves you get, uh, and you de determine who goes first based on uh, the net difference between the two. So if it was a two and a four here, the zombies would get two actions before the uh, 
these guys get one, and then they would have one, and then they would have another one, and this guy would have one, and then they would have one more, and they would have had a total of four, and they had a total of two. Pretty straightforward stuff, right? Uh, oh, hey, we actually got some people. You guys are amazing. Thanks for joining. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Good to see you. All right. Uh, you know, the, the illustrations in uh, here, they're, they're kind of thematic. You know, those bullet holes, uh, you know, zombie dudes. Uh, you got to keep in mind, so this is a, a, a print and play. When I say print and play, sorry, print on demand game. So they're not paying an artist $1,000 and printing 5,000 copies of this thing. I think the artwork here is actually really pretty quite quite good. Uh, I would not say it's awesome. I would say it's quite good. And uh, I think it's thematic. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, you got the police officers here. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I'm looking at the cards and not looking at the screen. Uh, there's some there's some good stuff in here. I, I don't think it's, uh, you know, it's not a thousand dollar game either, right? So these, these, are, these are cool. These work uh, based on what I've read of the rules. This is pretty much all you need to get going. Then you have uh, the the counters, and I'm going to try and zoom in here for you. And so you've got your, okay, these here, uh, there, there are three different types of refugee. There's a VIP, regular, and riffraff. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is a fun, light, fast player, right? You're not, uh, we're not solving the world's problems here. We're not recreating Waterloo. We're just, uh, we're uh, flipping some cards and killing some zombies. And then you've got different sized uh, zombie hordes as well here. You've got uh, hordes, mobs, and packs. Obviously, hordes being the largest, and you have uh, then you have the various police and special forces and national guard and uh, different sized units in there as well, militia and all sorts of things in there. Right? Uh, I'm not going to go into the detail of how everything works in the game. It's really more of a shrink rip to let you guys have a get a feel for it. There's of course the backs of the cards also have reduced units and whatnot, and you put these damaged, uh, wounded, or mangled. <laughs> Wounded mangled markers on, on units. They take, I think, two or three steps each, depending on their size. And uh, that's it's a pretty, very clean, straightforward system. So that's the uh, that's the counters. And by the way, the new, uh, the new Tiny Battle counters are much, much thicker. And they're die cut much better. And you're not going to have any of the issues from some of the earlier games where... Uh, you would go to punch out the counters and the paper would uh, be stuck across them and they would tear. That was one of my pet peeves with some of the early uh, Tiny Battles uh, games that I purchased. I bought four or five of them. And one or two, there's only one or two of them that had the issue. Now all the games are going to be printed this, this size, I believe. Okay, let's have a look at the map because uh, I actually haven't even seen this yet. Uh, I kind of pulled the rules out last night. I was all jet lag and I really didn't have the energy to do much else but lay in bed and read. Nice. Okay, let's see. I think it looks like it goes this way. And I guess it's Wednesday, so that's got to be the trash man. Here he comes. Uh, right. Muted tones, hospitals, the Abbott Hotel. These all have uh, particular values in the game. Uh, certain things happen when a chaos event occurs, or you happen to have units within range of a, them or leaders or whatever the case may be. Your zombies set up on the side of the map here. You got your, your dead pile, your turn track. It's just six turns long, uh, so it doesn't. Uh, it does. It's a very fast playing game, I think, based on what I'm seeing. You don't have hundreds of counters. That's it, right? So, this might be uh, a new, you know, new type of tactical game where you're given the 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 initiative numbers here. They go from two to five. So you're never going to have more than I guess you could both pull a five, couldn't you? So you could have. Is there a five in here? Yeah, they have a five. Uh, so you can have 10 activations, the equivalent of 10 activations in a turn. And uh, that would be the longest turn and the shortest turn would be two. Uh, so that kind of kind of gives you a feel for things. So let me just, uh, let's see, let me show you the rest of the map there. So I, I quite like the artwork. It's a, let me just zoom in a little bit here. I should go say hi to my buddy. Wish him a happy Thanksgiving. You know what, guys? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to be real quick. I'll be right back.
Elias is a really cool guy. All right. <clears throat> okay, so that's all I had to share with you. Let me see what else we got. Uh, if there's any quick comments here. I just want to do a quick kind of shrink group. Yeah, thick counters are always good, aren't they? Hey, Devin, how you doing, man? And yes, we will have to clip the... <laughs> clip them and make them look pretty for you. But uh, I tell you what, if you you guys hang around, I'm gonna end this so it's a separate video. Uh, I will come back and open up two other games that I received. One of them has already had a, a real shrink grip from, uh, from the uh, community, I guess. So I'm, I'm, but I'm still gonna give it a run just because I'm curious to see what it's like and I might as well just have a chit chat with you. And then I think Later tonight, I'm going to try and play something. We'll see how my brain goes. I might actually try and play this and uh, do some live plays. If you guys want to hang out later tonight, we'll do that together. All right. Talk to you soon. We'll wrap this up. I'm coming straight back, and I'm going to I'm going to review. Oh, uh, not review. I'm going to I'm going to uh, crack open an oldie and a newie. I'll talk to you soon.